there, Arnold, and uh, enjoy having fun there. Well, coming up next, emerging markets are seen as the next big wave in the tourism industry. We're going to talk to one leading luxury hotel operator that's betting big on, you guessed it, China. Our next guest is betting that China will be the largest travel market by 2010. He's got big plans to expand in that market. Helmut Knipp is Senior Vice President for Development at European luxury hotel operator Langham Hotels International. He joins us now from Hong Kong. Thank you for coming on CBC's Cashflow. Tell us about your plans for China. Well, good morning, Maura. Uh, thank you for having us this morning. Uh, we are indeed uh, focused on China uh, for several reasons, because number one, China is indeed the largest, going to be the largest travel market in the world, not only for inbound and domestic travel, but also I think we can expect the future travel tsunami from China into the rest of the world. And secondly, we are a Hong Kong-based company uh, that has its focus on the mainland. How much money are you expecting to pour into that country? Uh, we have a fund of around a billion dollars that we've raised through various means in the equity market. And uh, today, as we speak, we have, in fact, six hotels under construction in China. And we would anticipate that within the next five years, we'll have 20 to 25 properties uh, that will be opening there or under construction. Can you give me a sense of where exactly those properties will be located? Are they going to be along the eastern seaboard, the big cities like Beijing and Shanghai? Or will you be looking to move them elsewhere as well? Uh, no, we're looking obviously at the key cities. Uh, uh, Beijing, for example, we have two hotels under construction. Uh, one at Beijing Capital Airport, Terminal 3, which will open at the end of the first quarter in 2009. Uh, a second one in Beijing's Chaoyang District, across the street from the Chinese Foreign Ministry, which will open uh, in the second quarter of 2009. Uh, we have a unique a boutique property under renovation in Shanghai that will also open in the second quarter of 2009. We're under construction in Xiamen, which is on the eastern seaboard. Uh, we're also in uh, Changchun, uh, Chongqing, and uh, uh, other cities uh, in China. Because the secondary cities uh, are again uh, in, in dire need of international five-star hotels. There's a, there's, a, there's a lack of those, and the Chinese market itself demands more of those hotels. Outside of China, though, but within this region here in Asia, do you see other uh, countries or tourism spots that you think have a lot more potential? Uh, indeed, we do. Uh, we are very active in Thailand. We have our first property in operation in Khao Lak, which is uh, just south of Krabi on a beautiful uh, island. We have uh, two contracts that we are about to sign in Phuket. Uh, we're also very active in, in Koh Samui. And I believe that Vietnam uh, is an up-and-coming tourist destination, in addition, of course, to both Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi uh, being of, in, of interest to us, as well as Bali, if we go further uh -huh. south. Obviously, Asia is very important to your growth, but you know, you're a relatively new player to this region compared to some of the other big names that have been here for much longer. How do you intend to compete with them? Uh, that's an excellent question, and I think the reason that we have uh, tremendous recognition of our brand as well as acceptance of our brand is our 140-year history that dates back to the Langham Hotel in London, which first opened in 1865 and which we acquired about a dozen years ago and from which we took our name. The Langham was the very first luxury hotel in the United Kingdom and in Europe for that matter. And in those days, luxury uh, was defined as hydraulic elevators, its own well, hot and cold running water, and the piece de resistance, flushing toilets. <laughs> Always important there. Uh, let me ask you a question mm -hmm. outside of Asia, if I could. When you look at uh, the United States market, I know you're a head of, uh, or, of development at the, at the hotel brand. Uh, a lot of concern is on the U.S. market right now, the economy there. What is your sense from your properties in the U.S. about how that market is shaping up? Uh, the U.S. market is indeed a, a little bit soft right now. We have a property in Boston, uh, in the financial district, and we have we acquired in December of last year the former Ritz-Carlton Huntington in, Hunt in Pasadena, California, and we rebranded that as a Langham. 
the um, Pasadena property is right on track with where we thought we would be. Boston is a little bit soft right now because we're feeling the impact of the financial markets there. Okay, thank you so much for joining us today. Helen Knipp, Senior Vice President for Development at Langham Hotels International, joining us there live from Hong Kong. Amanda Drew is going to take you through the second hour of CBC's cash flow. Well, analysts are expecting that the Bank of Japan is going to hold.